So as you know, this is via deadline. The writer strike is over. The actor uh, strike is still happening. There. That would be a perfect air horn time. Oh yeah. Well, let me see what I have. Let me just unlock my phone. Okay, maybe I have. Oh, I have this. Hang on. Okay. It's good. Okay. Well, I have this also, this annoying smoke alarm noise. Oh, that's great. Terrific. This is really unpleasant. Oh, it is. It's very authentic. <laughs> that's for that's for like a kid in high school and it, there's a there's a maybe there's a um test and he doesn't want to take the test. Yeah. So it'd be like do and then, you know. He good. does the thing, he uses the app. Yeah, he uses the app. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. simply uses the app. Simply uses that he app. simply says, Excuse me, teacher, can I simply I need use my phone? Can I simply use my phone during this test? And they're mm. like, Of course, young man. And then he does a thing and they're like, The smoke alarm, let's get out of here. <laughs> Um, also, uh, did you see that the um, the VFX over at Disney people they decided to unionize as well? Nice, which is great. That's yeah. this is all good stuff. Oh, that deserves a little. Oh yeah. What do you feel? What is this? Oh, and now they're kissing. Everybody, all the you, all the VFX artists are kissing. <laughs> I like how you did a little shoulder wiggle <laughs> when you you're just copying me. This is my idea, Mason. I brought this, oh, and all so? of a sudden, you, you got... think I wouldn't be prepared with a weird sound effects board on my phone myself? <laughs> did, did you download that, or do you have it? It's uh, it's Pocket Sitcom. It's yeah. an app called Pocket Sitcom. Very good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so apparently Marvel are now meeting with multiple writers over the coming months in order to, to take pictures for not pictures, take pictures. Oh, pictures. P I T. For P I T C H E R S. Yes, pictures. Right. pictures. Taking some pictures for the um, upcoming uh, X Men team. Oh. Now, there's some speculation and maybe even some rumors that they're going to go with the original '60s X Men lineup, oh. which might not be some of your classic characters that you know now. Oh yeah. Um, do you remember the the lineup? So it'd be it's Angel. Yep, Angel. Normal Beast. Normal Beast when he's a normal man. Yep. Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman. Did you say Iceman? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Iceman. Yep. Professor yep. X. Yes. And the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants as Mastermind, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, and Toad. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because I think people would... Beast has got the hands, though, and the feet, Yeah, he's right? got big hands and feet. Yeah. Yeah. I think would people be like, this is too close to the first class team? Because it's pretty close. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's true. But I think at the MC, at the MCU, Mason. Oh, yes. As you know, they like to do like, uh, this is the authentic whatever. We're doing the real thing and mm. whatever, whatever. But a bunch of those weren't used in first class anyway. That's true. Yeah, I believe. Mm. I saw that movie. So how would you feel about that, though? So apparently they're not going to do Wolverine in it as well. Okay. They'll good. come to that later. Well, that's, you know, he's, he was not. He a, could do all these in the woods stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm. he was not an original member of the team. No, so he came along and. Wasn't even original, originally a mutant. I think they should do the new version. He'd just be a guy with knives on his gloves. Wasn't he also a literal Wolverine that mutated at one that point? That was, well, they they never put that in, but that was a, that was going to be a plot yeah. reveal. And he fought the Hulk. That's correct, yes. Yeah, and I know all about it. That's right. Don't ask me any questions, though. Okay. So yeah, I, I yeah. Do you think though they do like they'd set it in the sixties? Did they would they set it in the modern day? How does that reflect upon like, for example, like Magneto was a what was a uh, concentration camp survivor from World War Two? Like, That's true. Do you move the timeline up? Like, what is it? Time travel? Have they lived longer? Like, That's. What's I mean, the, these are all great questions, I mean, and obviously you have to. You then have to factor in well, why have they not revealed themselves before? You mm. know, kind of thing. Yeah, I think that's because there's going to be some multiverse stuff, and that's probably great. Another. I love that, James. Yeah, I, know. I love that. We all love that. I don't think you can change Magneto's origin from no, there, like, like you, you use another like horrific historical yeah, event. You know, it's like I agree. <laughs> oh, actually, no, you've changed my mind. We could just they could just take a poll on Twitter. They could be like, <laughs> folks, oh, we're yeah. leaving it up to you, the viewers. Which horrible historical event? <laughs> Maybe a massacre yeah. or a war or September something. September where, where, where should where where could he be yeah. from? You know exactly. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I know. Could he have lost all his money in Bitcoin? Oh, yeah. And that's why he's like this. <laughs> Could be real fresh and modern. He's got a bunch My of, apes are gone. My, yeah, all these apes are worthless now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I don't know. But, yeah, I, I agree. I think that's key to his origin. Mm. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, you know. I mean, they've sown the seeds where they're, they're like, okay, Ms. Marvel is an, a mutant now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It feels weird to just throw them all in in the present day. And yeah. just be like, well, uh. You know, uh, uh, there was some sort of multiversal radiation leak and now all these people are mutants or whatever. Mm. It doesn't, like, it feels like a disservice to all the origins of the hey, characters, yeah, yeah. you know, like a Wolverine, for example. Yeah. It feels like it should be, at least some of them should have their origins in the past. Yeah. But then you have to justify a way that they've n- just never well, emerged. It's, it's technically like... Professor- like the Eternals. Yeah, like the Eternals. Great point. Good movie. Mm. Well, 
because technically the school is secret, right? Oh, that's true. For some of it. Like yeah. the, the Professor X school is just like a school for, nerds. for nice nerds. Mm, that's right. You don't shoot lasers. They don't shoot lasers. That's on the plaque. That's None right. of us shoot lasers. Yeah. You don't have a toad boy here either. Don't look. That's right. Don't look in the pond. Yeah. Don't look at all the freaks in the freak wing either. <laughs> you know, the ones that are really obviously freaks, the ones that aren't like super handsome James Marsden or whatever, yeah. just the freaks. Yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And no, we don't I know, know that guy's a beak, but he's yeah. wearing a mask. <laughs> we don't know anything about the Inhumans either. Yeah. Don't ask us. Um, so there's also speculation this week because you might have seen that Taylor Swift has been hanging out with one Hugh Jackman I and one seen Ryan that. Reynolds and one Blake Lively. Oh. Um, who might, I don't know if she's in the Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool When you movie. say this, do you mean on set or just in life? No, they've been hanging out in life. Well, they're famous people. Yeah, they're famous people, but I don't know, man, because there's also been rumours before that she was going to be Dazzler in, Oh yeah, sure. I want to say Apocalypse, but, okay, it, but right. I don't know which so, one. So Dazzler, of course, is the kind of the 70s, 80s disco-themed yeah. uh, uh, mutant. Okay. So, I mean, and this and was, was also a pop star, which would, yes. you know. And seeing as how well that, uh, that tour – the, the tour that they filmed is selling. I think yeah. it's done a hundred million dollars in pre-sales already okay. or something. So if you put her in this movie, mm-hmm. she's one of the few actual celebrities who would literally like, yeah, it would be tens of millions of dollars. That's true. If yeah. they managed to pull it off. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I believe. Okay. Those Swifties, you know? Those Swifties. Are always out James, there. all I know, the Hollywood goss is she's dating some sort of football player. Football man, yeah. Foot- a football man. Yeah. And perhaps the, the, the boys are just going to a football game because I love no, this has been other things as well. Whoa. Yeah, you know what I mean? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. You know, Hugh Jackman's single. He's out in the world. That's true. He's loose. Oh, my God. He hasn't gotten loose in a long time, yeah, right. though. So. so you think he's going to steal Taylor Swift away from the football no, man? No, he's not that kind of That's guy, what I'm Mason. saying. That's what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> he, said, he said that. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> well, then I guess it is what I'm saying. That is what you're saying, yeah. Mm. Should we do some trailers? Yeah. Trailers on. <laughs> trailers on. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> okay. Mason. You've actually yeah. been superseded by tech, by technology. Wow. If you don't mind. Okay. That's not the one. Oh, my God. Hang on. That's yeah. not the one. Uh, James, here's your efforts right there. Hey. That's your efforts to be funny, James. Ah, oh, I got a weird ad. <laughs> the app gave me a weird wow, ad. Wow, wow, wow. It's one of those things where, like, it's a guy and he's going to be crushed by diamonds or Unless goo Unless you or pull something. out the, the, the yeah. correct pin or whatever. Wow. Anyway, trailers wow. ahoy. Wow. How do you feel? I have that one on the board. Yeah, well, well, I have it in uh, uh, easy reach. I love this dueling thing we've got going on. Me too. And I bet everyone else does too. Me too.